Grayson, say hi. Hi. <laughs> this is Grayson's three-year-old update. Grayson, how old are you? <gasps> three. Did we just have your birthday? Did you have so much fun? How old are you? How old are you? <gasps> three. Yes, my baby is now three years old. So I thought I would just do a little update video to tell you about Grayson and his quirks and just his new things and what it's like to be a newly three-year-old. So It's going to be your birthday. Yeah, we had your birthday, huh? We had a Hungry Caterpillar themed birthday for Grayson and it was a fun time. It went great. He got lots of presents and we had cake. Where to begin? Gray is actually a pretty easy going three year old, I'd have to say. Lately, I have started to see more of the three major pop uh. out, and he gets very, very frustrated if I do not get whatever he wants me to say right on the first He's time. He does have meltdowns, he does get embarrassed. Um, like if he falls or something and he always says, Mama hold you. And so um, he likes to snug with me. He likes to be held. He gets jealous of little brother Porter, me always holding him. And so he wants to be held too. Grayson is super smart. He knows his ABCs. Can you sing your ABCs? Yay! So he loves letters. That's like his favorite thing right now. He begs me to watch YouTube videos of just like phonic songs or just like alphabet songs he loves. Gray's new favorite thing right now is he likes to tell me what letter every item starts with. So Grayson, what does camera start with? What letter does camera start with? C. C. And what letter does Grayson start with? A G. G. And what letter does Mama start with? M. M. And what letter does Felix start with? F. F. That's what he does all day long. Car starts with C. Or um, bike starts with B. I mean, all day long. That's all he does. And he's starting to, like, he'll see a letter like bike. And he'll be like, B. E. K. E. And so it's actually like, yeah, yes, it's actually really impressive. I think these YouTube videos are actually teaching him a lot about like sounding out. And so I'm just really impressed with him. I think he's really smart. I'm so excited for him to go to preschool in the fall because I think he's going to learn a lot. And um, I feel like I'm at the limit of what I can do at home with him. And he learns a lot off of YouTube, surprisingly. Um, I know a lot of people say to like watch screen time and things, which I do. He only gets max two hours of videos a day and sometimes he doesn't, like yesterday he didn't watch a video at all. So it just kind of depends, but if he is watching videos, he watches like educational videos. He will watch like cartoons like Blue's Clues or Sesame Street, but he prefers his YouTube letter shows over anything. Can you count to 20? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, twenty, 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 so yeah, he can count to 20. He can actually probably count higher than that too, but that's what his little puzzle goes to. So yeah, he loves, he loves counting, he loves letters, and he loves shapes. What shapes do you know? Circle? Ah! Triangle? Ah! What does the cow say? Me. What does the horse say? We, we spell an animal. Okay, he ran off to go get a toy. But yeah, he's super smart. I don't know if I'm just biased, but I really do think he is smart. 
Um, potty training wise, we're still working on it. He does wear undies. He'll go on the potty if I put him on the potty, but he is still not at that point where he's telling me that he has to go potty. So I'm hoping we get there soon. And pooping, he does not poop on the potty. He just poops in his pull-up. So we're out of diapers. I do put him in pull-ups for nap time and bedtime. Grayson is always singing a song. He's loved music ever since he was little. And so he's always singing songs that he sees on YouTube, um, songs that he's made up, all the nursery songs like he just loves to sing he like if you're around Grayson he's always singing a song and it's really really cute he is a good big brother to Porter he's still learning how to be a big brother he does help me like if I'm with Porter and I'm sitting down and he's in Porter spits up I'll say hey Greg can you go get me that towel and he'll go and, and bring it back to me or if I have a piece of trash I'll say hey Greg can you go take this trash and go put it in the trash can and he does do that for me so he is helpful here and there he does like to kick Porter so we are working on that um, he can just you know he's a three-year-old he he can get a little antsy if he's sitting for a long period of time and so he goes a little crazy Grayson is very particular almost like borderline OCD like if if you're if he's in your house and you have a door open he has to close it like he does not like doors open like that or if we're in a room and the light's not on, like the, he, he freaks out until you turn the light on, like the light has to be on. Like just silly things like that. Like he likes things like how they are in a certain way. Um, if he says something, he wants you to repeat him and he will keep saying that thing until you repeat him. That's probably one of the most frustrating things with Grayson is like we'll read a book and he'll say like one, two, three, and then he will keep repeating one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, until I say one, two, three. So we're trying to work on him just like not needing me to repeat him because obviously when he goes to preschool, the, the preschool teacher won't be able to like repeat him all the time. That's one of his quirks. He's got a lot of quirks. <laughs> he likes repetition, just like all kids, loves repetition. So like when we go outside, he has like a specific routine. Like he goes to this object, this object, this object. We sing this song, this song, this song. So um, he is very particular about that. Grayson's favorite food, I would say is spaghetti or he loves ice cream. Um, anytime we go like through a drive-through, he always says ice cream and french fries. Um, he loves ice cream, but he also loves spaghetti too. Um, I don't usually give it to him very often because he gets spaghetti everywhere, all over his face, all over his hands, and sometimes in his hair. So I have to make sure it's bath night when I give him spaghetti, but he loves it. We're working on trying to get him to eat more like vegetables and even like just any of the dinners that I make at night. You know, he's kind of picky, he's a kid, and so he doesn't like to try new things. So we are working on that. Grayson knows all of his colors. Um, if I pointed to a certain color, he could tell me what color it is. Same with like letters. If I pointed to a certain letter, he would tell me what letter it is and same with number. Um, he loves playing with sidewalk chalk. I would say that's his favorite outdoor activity right now. We just draw all the time on the uh, driveway and he loves it. He loves going to the park. Um, he loves going down the slides. He is fearless. Um, he will go down the biggest slide and he goes so fast and he doesn't care. He does it over and over and over again. He loves the slide. He's back. Can you count on your fingers? What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where's your eyes? Where's your ears? Where's your nose? <laughs> Where's your elbow? Yeah. Where's your tongue? <laughs> yeah, so he knows all of his body parts. Um, can you say the months of the year? January. February. February. March. March. April. April. May, May, June, June, July, July, August, August, September, September, 
October. October. November. November. December. December, yay! We have a calendar and Gray loves looking at it. He's got all the months of the year memorized and the order too. Which I think is pretty impressive. Again, maybe I'm just biased, but I think he is pretty darn smart. I'm so excited for him to get to preschool and like compare him like to his peers. Gray loves animals. He's um, kind of shy, but he can be pretty outgoing once you get to know him. Um, he loves being around people. He loves attention. He loves one-on-one -on -one attention. But going back to animals, he loves dogs, cats. We have a cat, Felix. We're working on him still, being nice to Felix and petting him nicely. Um, dogs, he loves. Loves my parents' dog, Berkeley. Dakota, my sister's dog, Finn, my brother's dog, like he just loves all dogs. He loves reading books. He's always loved reading books um, from when he was little and he still loves it. We get um, a free book in the mail every month from the Imagination Library through Dolly Parton and he gets so pumped anytime we get a free book and we get a free one for him and a free one for Porter every month and he just, he lights up when we get those free books. So he loves reading books. Um, if I knew he wouldn't destroy the books, I would start getting library books, but he is still in a tearing book phase and I've had to take all of the books out of his room and put them in a different room because if I leave him in a room like at night or during nap time with books in his room, he will rip them up. That was a hard thing, um, and so he has no books in his room right now because he keeps tearing them up. <laughs> Gray is awesome at sleeping. He takes one nap a day, um, usually about like one to three, usually in the afternoon, and then he his bedtime is usually around 7.30, but then he likes to stay up in his room. He's got his laptop or he's got puzzles, and he'll play until like 8, 8.30, and then he'll just fall asleep on his own. Um, we have put him in a big boy bed. He's not in a crib anymore, and with that became a lot of freedom, so we had to put a lock on his door because he was getting out all the time, and I was nervous that he was gonna get into something bad. And so he does have a lock on his door, but he does great with it. He's awesome in his room. He sleeps Daddy, through the Daddy. night. He's not like waking Daddy, up in the middle of the Daddy. night. He's an awesome kid, sleep-wise, honestly. I'm hoping that he continues to nap until he turns like five because I love quiet time, nap time. So we're gonna keep doing that as long as it, as long as he, it works for him. Grayson hates getting his nails clipped. Um, I really don't do it that often because he hates it so much. It takes two people to do it. Anthony has to like hold him like in a bear hug and then I have to quickly try to get his nails and it is just, it's not even worth it. So I hardly ever do his nails anymore. I'm hoping he grows out of that phase. He's also very wary when we go to like doctor's appointments or like any professional. We took him a while ago to go get his shoe fit at Stride Right and he like thought the world was ending because the lady was just touching his foot. So if we're like in an like uncomfortable, like a new place, he does not warm up to people. Like he is very cautious. He loves puzzles. He's getting better at like multi, like, 90s puzzles. We have a really big fire truck puzzle and I think that's a little too intimidating for him, but he likes to do puzzles with me. He loves to draw, draw with crayons, draw with sidewalk chalk. We have like a like a draw and erase thing. He loves, loves stickers, <laughs> loves stickers, um, loves to put them everywhere. So I have to keep telling him to only put them on the books. Like I said, Grayson is gonna start preschool in the fall. Um, he's just gonna go twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays just for like three hours in the morning. So um, definitely stay tuned to my vlogs for when that happens. It's gonna happen in like September, I think is when the school year starts. So I'm super excited. I'm also gonna start him in soccer and baseball probably in the spring. So lots of things coming up for him. Um, you go pee pee? Oh my gosh, okay, I don't know what I was just talking about, but Gray ran up to me as I was recording this video and said, do you have to go pee pee? I said, do you have to go pee pee? And he nodded and then I ran to the potty and he peed in the potty. You guys, <laughs> that is the first time he's ever told me he had to pee. I'm shocked and it happened like as I'm recording his three year update. Wow, okay, I did not expect that to be part of this video. 
Anyway. I'm so proud of you, Greg. Good job. I think I'll just end on that high note. I really don't know much else. I mean, he's just, he's a really sweet kid. He's very loving, cuddly. He can have his moments. We are in the three major stage now, and so he does like things his own way. Um, he gets frustrated if he can't do something. He gets frustrated if I can't understand what it is that he wants. We still have communication issues sometimes where he just doesn't have the vocabulary to tell me exactly what he wants every time. Um, a lot of times he does say, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And so I'm trying to get him like, use your words, tell me what it is you need. So we are working on that, but he's a really good kid. He loves positive words, loves positive affirmation. So anyway, I think that's gonna be it for Grayson's three year update. Can you say bye, Gray? Bye. Say bye. Say I love you. I love you. Can you blow a kiss? Oh, good job. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to see all of Grayson's third year. We've got lots of exciting things coming up. He's going to be a ring bearer in my brother's wedding, school, sports. It's going to be an awesome summer, so make sure to tune in for more videos. Bye, guys.